technology and new services were some of the topics presented during the state of the MTS address. Tonight, I spoke to passengers that use public transit about their experiences as well as what they think about these initiatives. According to MTS, 70% of its passengers can't afford a car and more than half make less than $20,000 a year, which is why they depend on public transit to get them from point A to point B. Just like with the state of the economy, I'm, I can't afford a car right now. So, you know, if I want to get down here, um, that's kind of my only option. MTS announced they are focusing on security and will be hiring 34 people to help with code compliance by the end of the year. The signage is like not very clear. Tonight, I met Ava Gieslin at the Old Town Transit Station. She is visiting from North County and takes public transit a couple times a month to visit her sister. Ava tells me she has some concerns about what increased security may look like. Sometimes with heightened security, you know, you have people who um, take that a little bit too seriously and, you know, I don't want any of the other passengers to feel like they're not like allowed, you know, especially like with like homeless populations. Meantime, upgraded technology is becoming more of a tool for MTS. During the summer, they launched their contactless payment system, although for some passengers, they rather stick to the original method. But this, it, it, it uh, automatic, it works all the time. Next year, MTS says they will launch digital signs on trolleys with real-time arrival information, transfer points, and service alerts. We have a lot of our customers in the South Bay, and MTS is not forgetting about them. Tonight, MTS also announced they are enhancing service for people who ride the bus during off-peak hours. For people traveling in the early morning hours or late at night, a new express bus service will run between San Ysidro and downtown San Diego seven days a week, but so far we don't know when that will begin. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.